and healthy living this hour, vaccinating against chickenpox. In June, it became a requirement for children ages 2 to 4 in daycare to get chickenpox shots. Here to explain why it's so important is Dr. Howard Gallup, a pediatrician from St. Joe's Hospital. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Let's start with what is the vaccine and who should get it? Chickenpox vaccine became available in March of 1995. And basically what it is is what's called an attenuated vaccine. It's the chickenpox virus that's been altered in such a way to weaken it so it causes an inapparent infection yet confers immunity to natural chickenpox. For so long it's been held that, you know, chickenpox, it's uncomfortable, but a lot of people think it's not serious, and that's not true. It is at least a nuisance at all times, but occasionally can be serious. There are about, on the average, 100 deaths a year, about half of those in children, half of those in adults, uh, due to chickenpox or its complications. And during the 90s, we saw an increased complication rate due to secondary infection, usually from streptococcal bacteria, including the uh, so-called flesh-eating bacteria. There seems to be an affinity between strep and chickenpox. Really? And let's talk about um some of the concerns parents have with this shot. Well, it, I should mention too, because you asked who should get it. Mm -hmm. uh, any child 12 months or older can get the vaccine. If they're older than uh, 12, 13 and older, they get two doses a month apart. And some of the concerns that parents have about it are, if I give the vaccine to my child, might they be susceptible to chickenpox when they're older? And as far as we know, the longevity of the vaccine appears to be very good. They've been using a very similar vaccine in Japan for well over 20 years. Seems to be holding up exceedingly well, and so far in our uh, surveillance here as well. There's also a concern that um, is, as more children get chickenpox, parents waiting for their kid to get it right. uh, won't have as many opportunities to acquire it the old-fashioned way mm -hmm. from other kids, and that they may actually be leaving their child susceptible at, an, at a later age when it's typic typically more serious if they get it as an adolescent or adult. And you say there's no risk uh, to disease because you get this shot, because I know that's another myth with the flu shot. If you get the shot, then you'll get the flu. Well. There is a very low percentage of children, maybe about 3%, who can get either a couple tiny little chickenpox blisters around the vaccination site or elsewhere on the body a week or two later. And it's said that those children shouldn't be around an immunosuppressed person if they get that rash. But otherwise, it, after probably, oh, about 15 million doses right now being administered, uh, the safety is exceedingly good. The protection is excellent. and. Uh, uh, I, it's a vaccine that I'm very enthused about and uh, am uh, happy to offer. And also this year, Milwaukee Public Schools kindergartners who have not had chickenpox, they also have to get the shot unless there's some other um, exemption for, like, for religious reasons or something like that. So a lot of kids will be vaccinated this year. Yes. Uh, children entering daycare, as your graphic showed earlier, uh, who are age two, and children entering kindergarten uh, I require the vaccine unless there are waivers because of personal conviction, relig religious reasons, or, or uh, the rare medical reason that a child shouldn't receive the vaccine. And let me ask you this, for kids who are a little older, uh, grade school children, let's say fifth grade, are they too old to get that vaccine? No, the vaccine can be given to uh, basically anyone who's potentially susceptible. The only difference, uh, as I mentioned earlier, is that people older than 12, 13 and older, should get two doses a month apart. Mm -hmm. But anybody can get it. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. And your Fox 6 News time now. It's 8.30 and still ahead. Meet Wisconsin's latest millionaire. And Lisa's celebrating Good Neighbor Day. Hey, Kim. Somebody